Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about um, global aphasia, global aphasia. I'm going to talk very briefly because I'm talking topics related to USMLE examination and this is kind of a revision, that's why I don't want to waste much time and I'm going to give you only few important points that will help you to score very well in your USMLE examination. So remember, what is a global aphasia? Global it's affected global name itself indicates that both the centers are affected that is a Broca's and Wernicke's okay that's a 44 and the 22 40 22 is located on uh, sorry 44 Broca's it is located on frontal lobe and Wernicke's is located on superior temporal gyrus right so we are discussed in the previous video what happens if Broca's is involved and what happens if Wernicke area is involved okay so let's talk about uh, global aphasia the important point for USMLE what you have to remember here is there will be a lesion in the pre pre salvian speech area okay like in Broca's area if there is a lesion in the frontal lobe Wernicke in temporal gyrus okay like this in a pre salvian speech area okay speech area remember this area sometimes it can be asked in the USMLE step on examination where could be the lesion oh, okay pre salvian speech area okay what happens if there is involvement of this area or globe in a global aphasia is there will be a labored speech labored labored speech okay there will be a labored speech that's telegraphic telegraphic speech with what you call very poor comprehension okay guys so this is all about uh, global aphasia again uh, the same thing that is a trouble repeating the sentences is common in um, what you call um, in uh, global aphasia so it's very common in if it's involved in the broca Wernicke or conduction or a global aphasia okay guys thank you so much for watching this video take care